to discuss about the no-shows. The games we mm, love no to shows. see on the showcase, but didn't get shown. So the biggest one is Halo. No Halo news, no Halo games, yeah. and nothing for the Halo Infinite. No. But it's been Sad expected day. that... Sad day for be a Halo fan. But, it's, but it is expected they may be nothing. But they also expect something from Certain Affinity or any other games. But all we get is from 343 is that they're already developing the next Halo games on the Unreal Engine. And as I said, one of the rumored things is we could be expecting the remake or remaster of like... No, I mean, remake of a Combat Evolves. And it looks like there's a lot of interest for it to going for it. Oh, no. Why not? We've already got the Master Chief Collection. We've already got the Master Chief Collection, and I don't want PlayStation getting Halo. They can fuck off. I didn't say that about <laughs> PlayStation getting Halo. I'm just saying Halo Combat Evolved is getting remade in Unreal Engine, and it could be much better than before. Just imagine have all the enhancements of like the latest Halo games. That would be great. Imagine the power of the Magnum in, in Ultra Real 5. It looks super powerful and still can kill people in two shots. Like. <laughs> There's also no news about the uh, Infinite Seasons before, and it looks like we don't have anything for Halo Infinite. So it's been left in dust sure... while we have like Fallout 76, Elder Scrolls Online, and even like with Sea of Thieves. I'm like, well, that would be more yeah. interested in Halo than any of this crap. If you're going to remake any of them, they should remake Halo 3, though. Because they never remade, they remade Halo 1, they've remade Halo 2 already. They've never remade Halo 3. And for Halo 3, even though it's a 360 game, it kind of... Hmm. It still holds up, but it could do with a touch-up, honestly. I think a, a, a next-gen vision of Halo 3 would be more my, my cup of tea, personally. But... Well, the rumours suggest that... It has already been remade! Well, the rumours suggest that they are remastering the whole trilogy of Halo, so this will include Halo 3. The only thing is, you had to yeah. survive both Halo's 1 and 2 to get to Halo 3. So it's yeah. definitely on the cards. I, I, yeah. But anyway... All great games, to be fair. I think it's very concerning there's a lack of Halo content, because with no Halo stuff, and with Halo Infinite, like, gain a lack of traction because of the Microsoft possibly pulling the plug and not seeing a lot of new stuff with it, it just seems yeah. like we could get cold turkey in terms of content. And I don't know what's going to happen. You know, I'd be really yeah. stoked to see, like, the Halo Infinite coming to, say, the Switch or the PlayStation. But the moment it gets to the PlayStation 5, I will be getting the PlayStation 5 to play Halo Infinite because I've been playing so much yeah. Halo Infinite on Xbox. And to see it to go to PlayStation 5, I imagine it's soaking up all the trophies there. Wow. But then, yeah. <laughs> same cannot be said for, like, Master Chief Collection because I'm not that interested in it, so... Yeah, I love the Master Chief Collection, so... <laughs> but yeah, we'll have to see what happens with that. Uh, yeah. So, uh, what other games have we got on this list? Um, look. Uh, just going to pause there because my chicken's burning. So, uh, we're going to quickly go through the list because the chicken's ready. Um, we have Still Wakes the Deep. This one hasn't been mentioned yeah. in the showcase, uh, but it's been mentioned in the Game Pass or pre-orders on the Xbox Store, and yeah, it's been talked about, but you feel it could be mentioned in the showcase because it's been a lot while since we've seen the trailer for it. Yeah, I would say it's more like a double-A indie type game, though, so it's not that it's surprising not to see it again, to be honest, especially when it's nearly out, so... I don't know. Maybe we'll see it in like a like an Xbox podcast, like special episode or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I'm not that surprised. It's not really my cup of tea. Uh, it's a horror game on a oil rig, isn't it? If I remember yeah. correctly, which is I'm like, eh. <laughs> I'm not that fussed about it. So no. maybe it's just pretty much over their heads. But as for the OD. Yeah. The, we either got the trailer of people screaming and whatsoever, and this is supposed to be the next step up from like, well, I mean, the I think it was a, pretty much a follow up to PD, which is a cancelled demo on the PlayStation 4, but there's no gameplay of it, and we didn't see anything more of it. So we're just still waiting to see if there's any news or whether it's cancelled, because we really hate to see it cancelled too, because it's like done well, by Kojima as well as Jordan yeah. Peele, so. 
yeah, I can't see it being cancelled. It seems like this is a big budget thing. They put a lot of money into this. I can't see it getting cancelled. Especially because it's Kojima and, you know, he's an auteur. <laughs> Just get them all perfectly done and make sure all the bathroom tiles are neatly aligned. Pretty much, yeah. That, that's, that's pretty much Kojima logic. <laughs> no mention of the Blade game. Uh, it's done by Arcane. Nope. But it's definitely done by a different studio, which is Zion Studios uh, for Arcane. Leon, yeah. But no mention of it since that CGI trailer showing back no. in the showcase. I don't think we're going to be seeing that game until 2027, 2028. It's the, what, I think they literally only just started development like as soon as they showed that trailer. I think that was literally like in early, early days, unfortunately. Well, that's a bit lousy. I mean, yeah. they could have at least shown the new Halo game in the showcase to keep up the interest, but they just like keep showing games and say, oh, here's the concept. We're going to start building on this for 2027. I mean, oh, come on. Yeah. I mean, where's... I mean, is Halo the joke to you? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. They could have done spin-offs or anything, you know? They didn't have to be a Halo, like... Seven, it could be like a, like a war, like a new Halo Wars or like a horror game or anything. They could have done a nice spin off there, but there you go. It's just one of those things. Also, where it's got Ever Wild, which is announced all these years ago. Originally, they were targeting for the 2024 release, but there's no news since then, even though it's no, been rebooted it. by another development team. So, you're saying this should have been like shelved? Maybe I don't know. I don't, well, Everwild was announced pretty much the same time as Perfect Dark and Fable, and now we're actually seeing Perfect Dark and Fable. So, where the hell is Everwild? It should have. Uh, oh, and Save the K four, three or four, Save the K three. So, like the games that we've seen in this conference that we haven't seen in a long time, they were around the same time as Everwild. So, where the hell's where Everwild? I don't. Know, it, that should have been shown if this all. So that's worrying. That the other games are all being shown, and Everwild isn't. That's the concern. Yes. Clockwork of Evolution okay. mentioned last year, and I thought it was really interesting. But all we got as for the news is that Ink Exile Entertainment had joined up with Shapeshifter Games, which is a newly formed studio back in January of this year. But there's no news since then, so we don't know what's happening with it. Because I think this is more like a Bioshock-esque kind of shooter of some sort. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, look. Yeah. I mean, it does kind of look like Bioshock. It kind of, yeah. It, again, immersive sim. I think that's the term they use for it. Mm. Um, I think it looks rad. I'm really excited to try it out. It looks different. Looks interesting. Uh, time travel. Uh, steampunk. Again, I think this is a game that's a while off. I think this is like 2026, 2027 20, 20, as well. I think this is a game that's also a bit of a while off. There's also a Tower thing. I think there was a game called Tower. It's not Towerfall, uh, but. Tower, Towerborn. Which yeah, should Towerborn. be out this year. Which I thought we might have had as a shadow drop during the conference, but it, it, yeah, we still haven't seen it. They were saying it was coming out this year, and it wasn't in the direct. Like, we haven't seen it. In, in ages, so I'm really concerned about that game. We're meant to be getting it soon, in theory. It should be out this. It should be out this year. So, where is it? There's also a replace that's been delayed and has no release date. But recently, on yes. Xbox Wire, posted a few days before the showcase that there was a preview of the game, and it's been reported yes. in an Xbox Wire uh, blog on June the seventh. So, so it's just yeah. Like, I watched. Yeah, I watched. Kind of funny. They had a. Uh, they had a hands on with it as well it sounds like it's still got a while off as apparently the developers weren't super confident about showing it off because they weren't quite happy with where it was progress wise so it still might be another two it might be another year or so off but at least we know that game's still alive and it's still being worked on so. yeah and the last one is that hollow knight silk song it mm. was going to be released in the middle of last year but it's been delayed and they blamed Microsoft for trying to rush it. But then it's just kept being delayed. It's been on Kickstarter. And the last trailer of this game was on 2022. Recently, fans are getting really furious that there's no release date and feel as if people like the, who is working on this game have been like trying to put it off just to make sure it's like really good. 
What do you think? Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, it, it might be a development hell, but I think it'll be worked on. I think I think it'll be fine. Uh, the original Hollow Knight was pretty rad. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. But take as long as you need, honestly. I, 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 the older the get, I get, the more I think games should just take as long as they need to take. You know, don't rush them. I've had mm. so many games come out there being absolutely rushed and then they're, they're garbage because they've been rushed out the door. So take as long as you need. Make the game that you want to make and hopefully it'll be good. So I'm hoping it'll show up soon. But we'll fingers crossed. Thank you for listening to the X Monks the Box podcast. Follow us at X Marks Box on Twitter or X Marks the Box on YouTube. And follow us on all audio podcast services. Thanks for listening.